afeyehu scenario na wie no let's dive into our first problem first question no a a patient requires ingestion of 0.012 grams of a painkiller available as a 15 mg per ml solution how many milliliters should be administered who be be say e mani bo ho ko ko kem de e be break in ma down am obia atia se pepepe first thing i was aware and say you identify the known information question ni mun ya may dosage dosage you know e ye 0.012 grams and ya may concentration think la no concentration e ye 15 mg per ml information e dia may question ni mun step 2 identify answer and unit o her question mu na we say how many milliliters should be administered into no volume any year if volume no should be in milliliters step 3 identify conversion factors into no and say we her question mu na ya may grams and ya may milligrams grams and milligrams into no i was say you find the relationship between the grams and milligrams okay into ye nim dadada ewo class ya sua ewo unit conversion say 1 gram ebe ma o 1000 mg into eno no o tra no o tra ebe ma o 1000 mg ebe ma o 1 grams so what i say ana question ni mun so no ya ma 15 mg per ml ya tra 15 mg per ml so say 1 ml bia na na say 1 ml bia no amount of painkiller na will be 15 mg into no a 1 ml bia na be nya 15 mg of painkiller into yen set e table ni up table no say ya dey kan hu in the previous classes no we try long division line now the long vertical lines right there into dey be a start with the enim no dey start here e we try 0.012 grams e was so near the long vertical line same grams e wo top into na what a grams e ba anafo ha so no na etimi cancel because there wo a sobia no e bit ma cancel there wo form into no conversion here 1 gram will give you 1000 mg said the edikan hu no so the grams way e be try grams way what i say na ka milligram no into milligram no e wo say convert na e kunya answer no word dey milliliters milliliter no milligram e wo so ha say there was a milligram no e ba na afo ha then to we no e na wa say no 1 milliliter e ba wo so na 15 milligram no aba na afo so that the milligram on top will cancel the milligram at the bottom into the we calculate ya we be nya 0.012 times 1000 times 1 ml or divided by 1 times 15 into we know your computation na answer will be na e be 0.80 mls into we na say 0.80 ml of painkiller should be given to the patient good yes and try the next question na na hear you into second question at a dosage of 20 micrograms per kilogram body weight how many milligrams of tetanus should a 160 pounds patient receive into i say no first thing analysis ni as say you have to know the patient's body weight in kilograms and then the recommended dosage is in microgram per kilogram so knowing this data no we can calculate the appropriate amount of tetanus that we should give to the patient the best start with identify the information in the question into the name say patient weight patient weight you know eh yeah, saying 160 pounds prescribed dosage eh yeah, 20 microgram tetanus per kilogram body weight second step identify the answer and unit into the answer na ya hwehwe no ya hwehwe no delivered dosage okay delivered dosage you know should be in milligrams because of this say how many milligrams of tetanus okay the step 3 identify your conversion factors you need to say 1 kg biano a 2.205 pounds into your training year 
a bit 20 say one kilogram per 2.205 pounds one milligram be answer no a be my saying one thousand microgram say the winning how one milligram be able one thousand microgram make sure say over checking my videos and my year a unit conversion using the metric table system if it's my boy i'm waiting my conversion with effortlessly you will receive one milligram be able one thousand microgram in the end of data now you know you the known information you know the answer no unit i was a womb which is milligram and you your conversion um factors and you know we just have to set it up and then calculate it okay the yes certain app the piano yeah we will start with their question you know their their mind so if we start with 160 pounds patient you know he would do 160 pounds now the old vertical line number what the bar pounds you know our associate was a pounds you know a buffer what i say the other form no near share conversion factors now our asrohana if you see way into a better 2.2 205 I was here now one kilogram will be on top near call the other one no? because pounds will cancel pounds and there was a kilogram a banana for because kilogram I was true the kilogram will be at the bottom right here and you know one kilogram piano from the question no? about my 20 microgram of tetanus now kilogram at the bottom will cancel out kilogram at the top and to the last step you no know, ever you know converting micrograms to milligrams into microgram i was so microgram will be at the bottom so we put 1000 micrograms and then from this guy we put one milligram at the top into a hand you know, microgram would take away microgram at the top and to the table now a cost rock a crack it be who said 160 times one times 20 times one milligram near sunset and 10 10 near 2.205 times one times 1000 into we have calculations now we will say answer the amount 1.5 milligrams of tetanus because milligram in kwanaka so the answer will be this so you see the dimensional analysis is a very powerful tool for solving real world healthcare problems whether you are calculating how much medication to administer or converting units the key is to break everything down step by step like how i, sh I just showed you and then you have to keep track of the units because if you forget the unit then you may end up getting the wrong answer okay if you ever find yourself stuck just remember that coco chem is here for you okay and you know where to find us Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and share this video with your friends, okay? Until next time, stay curious and keep learning with Kukuken. Bye-bye.